In this unit, we're going to practice drawing different types of shapes. Before we begin, let's go ahead and define what a shape is one more time. A shape is a flat enclosed area that has two dimensions, length and width. Artists use both geometric and organic shapes. All right, so what I want to do is I want to open up an exercise file. So I'm going to go up to File and then go down to Open. I'll click on my Documents folder. I'll go to Sketchbook Drawings. And I want to open up triangles.tiff. All right, so the reason that we're starting with triangles is that triangles are very simple shapes. They only have three sides. And it's a great place to begin practicing drawing shapes accurately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my full UI here. And I'm going to bring up my layers. So right now I'm on the practice layer. I'm going to zoom in up here. And I'm going to go to this first triangle right here. I'll change my color to green. Over here on the practice layer, I'm going to add a new layer. Okay. So you'll notice down here that I have a clock layer and we can show that layer. And if I hold down V, well, first I'll need to go over here and select this layer. If I hold down V, I can move this clock up and we can sort of measure the angle of this line right here. So this first line on the triangle is six minutes past the hour. We can see that this line right here is 11 and a half minutes past the hour. So between 11 and 12 minutes. Okay, so we have six minutes and 11 and a half minutes. If we wanted to measure the other angle, we could go right here. And it looks like this angle right here is six minutes to the hour. Okay. So that's a nice little reference point. We can always turn this clock layer on if we want to sort of measure the angles. So now I'm going to switch from the clock layer to layer one up here, that new layer that I created. And I'm just going to hold down the shift key and I want to draw in a vertical line here and a vertical line right here. And that just helps me measure that angle. Like this was the six minutes past the hour and this one was 11 and a half minutes past the hour. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in this six minute past the hour line and I'm going to try and reproduce it. Reproduce that same angle right there. Okay, so I'm going to just try this a couple of times and see how I do. So there I'm, I'm going to say that is my six minute past the hour and let me now put in my 11 minutes past the hour. Let me try this again. Try it a couple times. And then this line right here is the six minutes to the hour. So I'll try and put that in. Okay. So now what I have is I've overshot these lines, but I have sort of a basic layout of this triangle. And now I'm going to hold down the V key and I'm just going to move this over and sort of check my work. So you can see I didn't quite get all of these quite right. Okay. So over here, I went a little bit too far. This is maybe seven minutes past the hour. This is maybe 12 or 13 minutes past the hour, right? So what I want to now do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to try and make some corrections. So I'm going to move this back over and I'm just going to line this up. And this time I'm going to change the color. I'm going to change the color to red. On this second draft, I'm going to try and make those corrections, okay? So I'll go a little bit higher right here and a little bit higher over here. Okay, and I'll try and connect these lines here. All right, so I've made my second attempt here. I'm gonna hold down the V key, I'll drag this over, and that looks pretty close, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the opacity on layer one, I'm gonna reduce it, and then I'm gonna draw the final version on a new layer. So I'll add a new layer, I'll change the color right here, and I'm just gonna draw in a new version of this triangle. Okay, and then I wanna to switch to my eraser and I wanna erase the excess. So I'll go in here, trim off the excess lines. 
Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll go to layer one. That was my rough draft. I'm just going to delete that layer. And now we have the leftover final triangle right here. I'll double check and just make sure that it's pretty close. There we go. All right. So our first triangle is done. Let's now move over here and let's do this triangle right here. I'm going to, let's see, this layer right here, we can merge with the practice layer. So I'm going to click on this and go down to merge. All right, now I'll create a new layer for this new triangle. And let's go ahead and turn on our clock. I'm going to switch to the clock layer. I'll hold down V and I'm going to move this over. And let's try and measure this. This looks like we're at four and a half minutes past the hour. And let's move over here. And this one's about four and a half minutes to the hour. Okay, so I'll hide this. All right, so we have our measurements here. Now, again, what I want to do on layer three is I'll start, I'll go back to green. I'm going to draw in those vertical lines just to help me draw the angles, right? So this is four and a half minutes past the hour, and this is four and a half minutes to the hour. So now I'll try and draw this four and a half minutes past the hour angle. And give it a couple of attempts. I feel like this is too narrow, so I'm going to try it again. And then this line right here, this horizontal line, I'll hold down shift just so I get a nice straight line. All right, now I'm going to check my work. So I'll hold down V, I'm going to drag this over, and I got that one pretty close. Okay, so I'll create a new layer. I'll take layer three, I'll reduce the opacity. And on that new layer, I'm going to use blue for my final line work. Okay, hold down shift for that horizontal line. I'm going to press S, switch to my eraser. Okay, erase here. So I can take layer three which has the green lines, and I'll delete that. And now I have layer four. I'll just double check, make sure that I got pretty close. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. Okay. So I'm gonna merge layer four with the practice layer, right? So as soon as we finish um, drawing the triangle, we're gonna merge it down with the other triangles, right? So we're creating new layers to do our rough draft. We're creating a new layer to do the final draft. Once we know we have that final draft, that final version, then we can merge it with the layer below. All right, so I'm gonna go over here to this triangle right here. I'm gonna go to add layer. And this time I'm not gonna use the clock. I'm just going to try and guess, all right, without measuring with the clock. So right here, I'm gonna say this is maybe two minutes past the hour. And this is maybe, I want to say maybe eight minutes past. So I'm going to, I did, I did my guess. Now I'm going to check. So now I'll switch to the clock layer. I'll move this over. This is two minutes past the hour. And this is eight minutes past the hour. Cool. All right. So I'm going to go back to layer five right here. I'm just going to try and draw in that two minute past the hour angle. So if I draw an angle like this, I feel like that's maybe two and a half minutes past. So I want to go a little bit steeper. Not quite, a little more. I think that's it right there. I'm looking at these two triangles. That looks good right there. Okay. So now this is our eight minutes past the hour right here. And then right here, this is maybe, I want to say 16 or 17 minutes past the hour. Let's try that and see what we got. So I got the first two angles pretty good. This one right here, too steep. All right, so I'm going to go in and try and make a correction. And I'm going to make my correction in red. So I'm going to take this line and go a little bit higher. And then I'll check my work right here. Now that looks pretty close. 
Now I'm going to reduce the opacity on this layer. I'll add a new layer for my final version. I'm going to do final in blue. So I'm going to draw in a line here, draw in a line here, and draw in a line right here. I'll press S and I'll erase the excess. I'll take layer 5, which is my rough draft. I'll delete that. And now we just have the final draft. I'll match that up. It's not perfect, but that's okay. It's pretty close. I'll move this over. And then I'm going to merge layer 6 with the practice layer. So now this first row right here is done. We have all three of our triangles that we've duplicated. All right, so that's it for the demo. I'd like you to go ahead and finish doing as many triangles as you can before the end of the class period. Once you're done, go ahead and save this assignment. Make sure you have your period, your last name, your first name, and the name of the assignment. Once this assignment is saved in your documents folder, go ahead and save a second copy of this file to the Dropbox so that you receive credit.